So in short, holding all these, all these talks that Buddha gave was to help us break the fetters and attachments. Because of these things are why we are paying for suffering every single day, these attachments and fetters. If you ask young people, for example, do you feel pain and suffering during your romantic relationships? They say, yes, yes, but why are you going through this? Because it's enjoyable. They're enjoying the pain and suffering, and that is the delusion, the ignorance of the beings. That's why I would like to encourage our translator here to become a monk. If you become a monk, we will have a lot of fortune, because going through relationships, those romantic relationships, is not real. Because most of the time, not all, but most of the time, love might turn into hate. That's the spirit of Buddha's teachings. That is what the teacher taught us, how to get through the delusions and get enlightened. Buddhist education is not about divinity, not about religion, and definitely not about superstition. It's about discipleship, emphasis on master and disciple, passing down the teachings, learning all the examples from role models, not just knowledge. So we must understand that. Teachers do not have any conditions for us. Shakyamuni Buddha does not ask anything from us. They do not ask any favors in return. Obviously, this includes all Buddhas. Amitabha Buddha is not exempted from that. He does not ask for anything in return for all of these benefits he bestowed on us. What makes these great teachers happy is you are successfully liberated from the sufferings and attain the ultimate happiness. That's the happiest person. That's the happiest news that Buddha could receive. Truly, if you attain enlightenment, they will come and congratulate you and welcome you to the Buddha Club for real. Because you are free, you are truly free. The thing that he enjoys the most is that you are awakened. You understand the realities of life and death. Congratulations! Therefore, being able to see his students liberate from the six realms, the sufferings, to live a happy and fulfilling life in the present, and be able to liberate from the sufferings of the six realms, how? By being reborn in the Pure Land. That's the best thing. That's the only thing that he'll ask. He wants to see from us. So he didn't ask for anything else. He doesn't say, oh, you have to offer me a lot of incense, offer me a lot of water, juice, or wealth, or anything. Or you need to give me your most precious thing. He doesn't need that. This is not what Buddha would ask for. One thing that he hopes is everyone to be awakened, to be like him, free and awakened. Once you are awakened, you are happy. You will never be truly happy if you are fully deluded. Every day he gives you the sermon, but we are still attached to the things that are impermanent. So how can we be happy? He already told you. These things are dragging you down and not making you free. Just like a wing being clipped. How can you be happy if you got clipped? How can you be free? He tells you to let it go so that you can be free. That's why you need to listen to his teachings. That's the whole point of giving sermons, Dharma talks. That's the mission for doing that. It's not for others. People who give Dharma talks, to be honest, are talking to themselves rather than talking to others. Talking to yourself is the first point of giving sermons, encouraging yourself to be liberated, to be awakened. So as a student of the Buddha, as a disciple of the Buddha in Buddhism, 
What's the biggest show of gratitude that we can repay our teachers? How do we repay our teachers? Live happily, live decently, live righteously, do right by the people, your loved ones, pay love and respect to your family, your parents. That's how you repay them. That's why Buddhism cannot depart from filial piety, cannot depart from respect toward teachers. If you can be filial to your parents and respectful to your teacher, then you are the number one happiest person in the world because you're repaying someone who gives you the most. This is very important. That's the root of all virtues. If you don't even know how to repay the person who gives you the most unconditionally, for now it's your parents and your teachers who are the masters, people who help you along, then how can you be real if you treat someone else outside disrespectfully, right? That means to be a decent human being, we need to repay our gratitude. At least it is to start with a person who actually gave us a lot of kindness. That is the person that we have a lot of gratitude for, are grateful for. So it all starts with family. And to start with family, how do you educate family? Filial piety, which means love and respect. So saying this upon touching these subjects, any masters, good masters, they will always treat disciples like parents looking after their children. Just like the parents that always want to see their children be successful in whatever they do in society, so do the teachers. Same meaning, same sentiment, same relationship. That's the relationship Buddha has with us, like parents to children. 